What's up? Okay. We are going into the garden right now. Oh, fuck shit. Okay. My back just got insanely wet. Fuck. Okay. We're here to check on everything. That's it. I sell a bunch of ripe peppers. So I'm ready for those. Uh, cucumbers. Couple of those. Let's see what we got here. That means when it's getting ripe. Um, so I'm actually gonna leave it. Though, because it's at this point where it... I can pull it and I'll eat it. But at the same time, I can wait and I'll be fine. Um, here though, hot pepper. Habanero to be specific. It's all good. All right. Um, these are actually the same peppers I used for my hot sauce right here. We got the tobacco ones that I was talking about. Ghost peppers. Look at these. They're just start up. Right back here are our banana peppers again. These are some of my biggest and nicest peppers in my opinion. They're very tasty. Um, I'm digging up more grass over here for potatoes. Some more tomatoes over here. But back to the pepper sitch. We got some golden habaneros here that I'm going to be throwing into this hot sauce that I need a couple of these bananas. And I got three growing here, and I have four growing here, and I want four. That's a good sign. These bad boys are actually amazing. We're going to pick any one that's honestly mostly red. Um, I'll pick and get back. All right, so this is kind of what I was talking about, which um, is mostly red. That's the only bit of green on the pepper, and that is kind of stays consistent throughout the whole bunch, except maybe this one. But, you know, so that, that's what I meant by that. We have mint right here. Some luscious basil be growing. Cilantro in the back. I'm actually going to put these in my pocket real quick. Spicy oregano. Like I said, the spot for the potatoes. Tomatoes over here, a couple different kinds. Here's something I've been working on, but it's been kind of hard to get, is my strawberries. But yeah, look, we got we got a couple, a couple tiny strawberries coming in here. Hopefully, I'll actually get them. Usually, we have groundhogs. But I recently finished putting up a full barrier. I actually have no fucking clue what it is. We got another cucumber there. Watermelon, and these are sugar babies. Another watermelon right there. That's a nice size. Where, so he's actually going to fully grow, if I had to guess. There's the previous cucumber. There, I think there's a couple more back there. We have a random tomato growing there. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. Back inside, okay, real quick, we wanna check a pepper situation out because I am trying to make another hot sauce soon. Um, this one I am trying to make on the more mild side because last one was habanero heavy. Um, I liked it, people have liked it, but they've all kind of agreed and said it was very spicy and they couldn't take a lot of it. So, new hot sauce. I'm trying to use these hot chilies. Okay, so look, eight ripe ones. We got five not ripe ones. Two more out there growing. One banana pepper that I'm not gonna lie, I cut in to get some seeds. So, plan right now. Keep these bad boys good. Keep the ones that are ripe now good. Pick the ones out on the vine right when they're ready. There are a bunch more of these coming in. By a bunch, I mean four, maybe five. A bunch of these have been growing. These are my little tabaxi, tabaxo, like the um, hot sauce, their brand of chili pepper. So that's good. So this banana pepper has been my traditional base right now. I've been going with that as my new base because I like the flavor of the banana pepper and everything it brings along. So that's what I'm kind of trying to wait on instead of using normal pepper as base. I think we either have five or six of those growing out there. So if in this hot sauce, we are relying heavily on these. So I'm not heavily, but I used how many? Like six of these last time? I, no, no, I used 10 of these. Compared to nowhere in spice. That's all for now. I'll check back in later. Peace out. Hello, so I filmed all of this one week ago, actually, as I was, like, filming a couple other things to finish, to wrap up last week's vlog. I basically filmed all that and, um, basically completed one whole vlog, but I realized, but something that in addition that I wanted to do was kind of take you to, through the process in a, in a little bit of me making the hot sauce, but, uh, I completely forgot. It's been one week, so it's actually done now. I call it Sweet Chili Red. It's very sweet, uh, not spicy, not too spicy at all. So it's a success. It was exactly what I was trying to go for. And I'm actually gonna bring you along and make more hot sauces that I have ideas for. Also, I'll show more of my garden as the time lasts, obviously. Uh, I'll see you next week. That's all. Peace out.